Hey friend, welcome back to my channel. I am your friend, your hostess with the mostest, Nikita. Uh, this is Essence of Earth. Um, and over here we talk about all the different things that you could do to help you improve the quality of your life. So if you st like stuff like that, then go ahead and be my friend and subscribe to this channel. Okay, and click the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post which just so happens to be every week, okay? So today, I just wanna to touch on a little topic, right? Because I'm on different social media platforms. You can find me on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, but I get a lot of questions, right? About health and reversing disease. And just recently, I got a, um, a message from a girl who was telling me that, you know, she was diagnosed, recently diagnosed with breast cancer. And obviously I am a birth cancer survivor and that's what kind of triggered this journey of mine here. So um, she was messaging me and, you know, I'm always asking, you know, like, what was your diet like for the past like 15, 20 years? And what is your diet like now? And are you ready to like detox? How, what is it? What is your goal essentially? Right. So she was just saying, oh, well, I've changed my diet. And, you know, she was telling me she was eating more greens and she was taking different supplements, which is great. But in my mind, I'm like, OK, so are you just wanting to change your diet in addition to like the therapy that your doctor is recommending? Or are you wanting to heal this yourself? Are you trying to reverse disease yourself? Because when you you have to know that. Right. So when you want to do it yourself, you have to you have to understand that there is a different type of thinking and there's a different type of intention that comes along with actually reversing disease. Um, and you have to be intentional when it comes to eating, right? Because if you think about it, what it boils down to is cellular energy. Everything that your body does requires energy. And um, I get it, you know, you're changing your diet. That's great. You're going to see some results from just changing your diet, especially if you're coming from the standard American diet and you're going through just healthy, you're going to see results. But to really, 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 really see those results and reverse disease yourself, um, you really have to stop eating. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. Or you have to eat foods that digest quickly. Um, I'm an advocate for fruit fast. I did it myself. And um, amazing results. Um, I'm putting together something, right? I'm putting together something to kind of help people with fruit fast because I'm an advocate for them. Um, but yeah, you have to be intentional in what you eat because it comes down to cellular, cellular energy. And greens and other things like that, they require a lot more energy to digest than fruits or not eating at all. So um, you really have to ask yourself, you have to know what your goal is when you've been diagnosed with this disease or you just want to change your diet, you know, or do you want to heal it? Do you want to get it gone? You got to ask yourself that because one requires a lot more consciousness and a lot more intention. Um, you have to stop eating. And then you, you think about, you think about animals, right? When an animal gets sick, I mean, you take your dog, for instance, your aunt, your dog gets sick. The first thing they stop do is they stop doing is eating. And sometimes we have to get back to that really simple side of us that we tend to overlook, right? <laughs> you just stop eating, right? Because what, what's happening when you stop eating? Not only is um, your body, you know, going into different stages like autophagy and mitophagy and actually getting rid of all of these defective cells that need to be eliminated out of the body. But when you're not eating, the energy that your body would typically be using to digest the food, which could take anywhere between an hour, or two hours. And just keep, just imagine if you're eating three, four times a day, three times a day, and you're snacking in between, your body is using a lot of your energy to digest your food, right? So that's why I say you have to be, it has to be like intentional. So when you understand that all of the cellular energy that's required to digest food, then hey, if I don't eat, then my body can now use the energy to cleanse itself instead of digesting food. <laughs> so you really have to slow down the eating. 
go into intermittent fasting, go into some type of dry fasting, and don't forget sleeping hours count. So um, you have to stop. You have to stop eating, right? <laughs> That's just that is just what you you have to do. Um, and then there are certain levels of detoxification. Like some people go eat one meal a day. Like uh, like I said, I'm an advocate for fruit, so I'm I'm eating fruits within the day, but then I'm stopping at a certain point and allowing dry fasting to 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 take place. And you know that's that's how you heal. And then on top of that, you're adding botanicals, you're adding the herbs, and that's going to turn things up a notch. So when it comes to healing, um, I'm and I, I'm I'm in no way, shape, or form saying that just changing your diet alone and eating healthier is not going to bring forth results. But if your goal is to heal it yourself, um, you got to go a little bit deeper than that. And that's all I'm saying. <laughs> So I just want to put that little bug in y'all ear to let y'all know that there you have to have in a certain kind of intention and consciousness and understanding about reversing disease uh, in your body yourself. Uh, and that just changing your diet alone and actually doing uh, a detoxification, they're, they're completely different. One requires intention and not eating. So um I hope this blessed you in some kind of way. And if it did, please go ahead and be my friend and subscribe, share it, click the notification bell. So you'll be notified um, when I post, which just so happens to be every week. <laughs> so I hope this blessed you. And until next time, bye.